Hello and welcome to this CBT Nugget Micro Nugget entitled Tweaking Google Chrome. My name is Tim Warner. When we discuss tweaking a browser, what do we mean? Well, we're talking about making changes to the configuration of the browser such that it runs faster and potentially with a higher security level. Frankly, there's sometimes a push-pull between security on one hand and performance on the other. Sometimes performance tuning deals with disabling extra bling or features that you don't use every day. I personally use the Google Chrome browser every day. I use Internet Explorer only when I absolutely have to. I was a user of Firefox, daily user, for many years until it became, in my humble opinion, very bloated and slow. Chrome is an extraordinarily fast browser. Now, a couple sites I'll draw your attention to are this how-to geek article called The Best Tips and Tricks for Getting the Most Out of Google Chrome. That's a good site that I've found in my research. And the other is Lifehacker, which always is a good site for tips, tricks, and tweaks. This particular article is called The Always Up-to-Date Power User's Guide to Chrome. Between these two sites, you'll get lots and lots of good suggestions for making Chrome run as quickly as possible. Quite honestly, ultimately the way to make your browser run faster is to ensure that your host computer's processor and memory are buffed up as high as they can possibly go. There's no substitute for additional hardware after all. That having been said, I want to now show you some of my favorite features of Chrome and ways that I personally use the browser to keep it optimized. First of all, if you go over to next to your what's called your Omni box, we can open up this menu drop down and come down to settings. Alternatively, there are a number of shortcuts, Chrome URLs that you can use to jump into settings pages. For instance, you can do Chrome colon forward slash forward slash settings to come to the settings page. You can do a Chrome URL for extensions, etc. Alternatively, as I said, you can go through the menu if you're a traditionalist. By far, my favorite feature, my favorite tweak in Google Chrome is to link Chrome with one of my Google accounts. And in so doing, you can synchronize all of your browser settings, your extensions, your apps, even your autofill entries. So in my case, I have a couple PCs, a couple Macs, I have a whole bunch of systems that use Chrome that I have Chrome installed on and it's like I have a unified browser because all of my data, all of my browser data is synced across all those instances. Fantastic way to do business. Another way to tweak the browser of course is to use extensions which are add-on modules some of which I would strongly suggest you look into. Add block to block ads all over the web. Similarly, there's a related extension. I thought I had it installed, but I guess not. It's called Flash Block. It gives you control over Adobe Flash elements on pages that you browse to. And then other than that, just depending upon how your preferences run, you can search for extensions and install them to your heart's content. You'll notice at the bottom of the extensions page here in Chrome Settings, we have Get More Extensions. This brings us to the Chrome Web Store where you can search. If you don't know specifically what you're looking for, of course, you can do a search here, Flash Block, for instance, and then you can read up on the extension. If you want to install it, add to Chrome, confirm that you want to add it, and you'll get a confirmation, and of course, it'll show up in your extensions list. Let me refresh my view. There's Flash Block, and many extensions have an options panel from which you can configure additional settings. Now, if you're coming from a Firefox tweaking background, you're wondering, are there about pages in Chrome? Yes, there are. They're not as useful as they are in Firefox, in my opinion. One I'd like you to be aware of is Chrome Flags. This takes you to the experimental settings, tells you here that they may change, break, or disappear at any time. There's no guarantees, and it's beyond our time scope, I'm afraid, to discuss these in any great detail, but I just wanted to show you this page, and you can perform research on your own, and let me know via email any additional tips, tricks that you might have. I'd be glad to build this micro nugget into a blog post that you and I can collaborate together on, on the CBT Nuggets blog. Finally, I want to draw your attention again through the Tools menu. If we come down to Tools, we have 
Task Manager, this is a really cool power user trick. It shows you, similarly to how Task Manager works in Windows or Activity Monitor works in Mac, all of your browser elements and the hardware resources that they're using. Now, each tab runs in its own memory space in Google Chrome, and you can selectively, by right-clicking, bring out additional metadata fields, and you can also kill stuck tabs without knocking down the entire browser. If an extension is giving you problems, you can unload it from memory. This is a really geeky, cool way to go. You'll notice, speaking of geeky stuff, this Stats for Nerds takes you to yet another Chrome URL URL called Memory Redirect, which gives you everything you possibly could want to know and more about Chrome's memory footprint on your system. I hope that this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.